Hello everyone, welcome to Gina's Kitchen. Today I will be making a pan seared chicken with sauteed sugar snap peas and sweet potato mash. So let's start our dish. So the equipment that you're going to need for this dish is going to be what you see here. You're going to need a cutting board, you're going to need a medium pot, a colander, a peeler so we can peel our sweet potatoes and then obviously if we're making mash we need a potato masher, um, a chef's knife, some tongs, as well as some measuring spoons. A quarter teaspoon and a half teaspoon. The ingredients that we're going to need for our dish is one pound of chicken breast, six cloves of garlic, one lemon, two pa eight ounce packages of snap peas, and then you need a pound and a half of sweet potatoes. This is actually two pounds, but no one ever complained about having too many sweet potatoes. And then you're going to need a little bit of black pepper, some salt, and also a couple of tablespoons of unsalted butter. First thing we're going to do is take our medium pot and fill it with some water. Okay, so we have our pot about halfway full. We're gonna put the lid right on there. And then we're gonna get this boiling. So I'm going to put it on high. So we'll leave that and get started on our sweet potatoes. Now I'm just gonna use some scissors and open up our sweet potatoes so we can wash them, peel them, and dice them. I'm not gonna worry too much about cleaning off the skins because we're actually gonna peel them so it won't really matter. I just wanna give them a good wash. see that we've got it peeled so now we'll just peel the next one. Okay. Now we're just going to dice them up. I'm going to take my chef's knife and I'm just going to cut off both of the ends. And then now I'm going to actually cut them in half. to add our potatoes to the water. Now we have our sweet potatoes in our pan. I'll just give this a little stir here. And we're basically just going to wait until that comes up to a boil. Now I'm actually going to wash our lemon. And our sweet, our sugar snapped peas are actually pre-washed, so I don't have to wash those. So let's wash the lemon. So now we're just going to cut our lemon into wedges. And 
And then I'm just gonna stick it in a bowl. And set it aside. So now I'm just going to get six cloves of garlic. Oh, in order to get the rest of the outside of the skin of this off, I'm actually going to use a tool that I didn't introduce in the beginning, and it's this. Now this looks like very cheap and like it's not going to work, but I promise you it's like magic. So basically you just, it's a like flexible kind of tube and you put your garlic inside and then you just basically press and you can even see the stuff's coming right to the top so now if you want to look inside you can see like it just basically for some reason sticks to the outside and then your garlic is basically peeled or you'll peel off like one piece but it'll come all in one and this is just like a super easy way to do that. Perfect. And then also too, if it comes out and it's still got some on it, you can always put it back in. But that is just so much easier. And now you have, ta-da, garlic. An eye on our potatoes back there. And then now we're gonna mince up some garlic. Now we're looking back over here. Our pot is boiling. Just want to cook it enough so that they're fork tender. Whoops. So, and you can see they're cooking up nice. So now we're going to take our chicken breast and we are going to make it into thin fillets that will cook up super quick for us. chicken fillets filleted out and we're just gonna season them with some salt and pepper You just want to make sure you get both sides. So we'll flip this over and do the same thing. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Salt and then some pepper. All right. We're going to take our large skillet and we're just going to put it on. to medium heat just to kind of let it heat up for like a couple seconds and then we're gonna put some butter right into our pan to add two tablespoons worth of butter Now we're cooking. 
So we just put two tablespoons of butter. Again, that's unsalted butter. And we're just gonna let this kind of melt in our pan here. Now we see our sweet potatoes are cooking up good. Give that a little stir. And we're also gonna just kind of test out with a fork. Um, see if they're fork tender here. Yeah. All right, these are looking good. So we're actually going to just turn the heat off on these bad boys and we'll drain them. So we have our chicken cooking up. It's starting to brown, which is good. And then we have drained our sweet potatoes and put them right back into the same pot. We're just gonna add two tablespoons worth of butter and then also some salt. And I'm supposed to be using the measuring spoons with this, but I'm not. I'm just doing a little what I think looks good and you can always taste it and if it needs more, you go for it, girl. So now we're going to use our masher and just mash all this in, get that butter going right. so that we get a nice little sweet potato mash. And it's pretty healthy, just got some butter in it and some salt and pepper, nothing too crazy. I know a lot of people like brown sugar with sweet potatoes, um, but I'm trying to do like low sugar, and the sweet potatoes probably already have a lot of natural sugar, so I wouldn't recommend that, but you know what? It's your diet. You can do whatever you want. We mash that up real good. And, right. Our mash is good to go. So I'm actually just gonna leave that there and then just put our cover back on so that that is just ready to go and it kind of keeps some of the heat in so it stays warm. Back to our chicken. And we're just gonna see how we're doing here because it looked like before it wasn't really ready. And I just want it to be cooked through because you should definitely not eat chicken raw. So, you notice we got a lot more browning going on and that's going to give you some good flavor. We're going to check the temperature. Okay, so, we have a piece of chicken on our plate and we're just going to cut it up to see if it is good to go. Get the cut. And then you can see it looks white, so we are good to go. I cut or tried to cut the thickest part in order to tell. All right, so now we have our chicken done, our sugar snap peas done, and then our mashed potatoes right in the back and our lemon wedges right there. So we just need to plate this up. So now I'm just going to cut this up like crosswise. Oh. So now we kind of keep all the pieces together just so you know who's supposed to get what and then we will plate it. We'll just Put that on there. Some of our sugar snapped peas. And we will add our chicken. 
So there you have it guys. This is our finished product. Looks delicious. And I am ready to eat it. All right, let's take a taste. I'm gonna get some of the chicken. Some of the sweet potato. Mm. So good. And get some sugar snap peas. Mm. Such a great meal and you can feel really good about it because you're getting in some vegetables into your diet. And then the protein with the chicken is very filling. It's just like super easy to make and super quick on a night when you're like, what do I make for dinner? So thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are interested in seeing more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you and have a great rest of your day. Bye.